Hello my soccer universe, it is high time that I start my jersey reviews for the 23-24 season and as it has become custom now I'm starting with the Austrian Bundesliga because that's the uh, league that is now running the longest and I probably have the best view of the jerseys from. All the jerseys that you see in here I have taken pictures from Football Kit Archive and I will rate them on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. And I will split them over three videos of four teams each. The Austria Bundesliga has 12 teams. And for that, I'm taking last season's final standing ex uh, exchange uh, for the um, relegated team, the promoted team, Blau by Slint. And I go one to three, three to one. And we'll see which teams we have in each video. And for this first video, I'm uh, having here a Red Bull Salzburg, I have the two Corinthian teams, uh, Oslo Klagenfurt and Wolfsburg, and we have promoted Blau-Weiß Linz. And this time I decided I'd do them in reverse order, so we'll start at the worst team and finish at the best team. And so, newly promoted Blau-Weiß Linz, an Ulsport team, and I gotta say, and we will see the last jersey better, this part of the derby they win bar none. I have to say, Ulsport released a really, really nice jersey for what I call the Smurfs. Uh, the blue with the white pinstripes in there. Also, it's a very pleasing, very typical uh, tone of blue for Blau, Blau as Linz. I also like the uh, kind of the shoulder uh, band here. The one thing that I am wondering, of course, is whether uh, they, they should have only gone with the pinstripes or they should have only gone with the white shoulders if, if, if it's a little, bit, a little bit over designed in that sense but I have to say it's a really nice looking shirt overall this is one of the best in the Bundesliga this season so we'll start out on a high uh, just for the logos uh, you know the Bundesliga logo in Austria is, is always on the uh, right side of the chest uh, and then opposing we have the um, club logo the red one in the center that's the a coat of arms of the city of Linz as Blau as Linz tried to more position themselves as the city team as opposed to Lask who are the team of whole of Upper Austria. Uh, the sponsor also fits nicely with the theme. I think that's everything here is really well done. There's one uh, bone of contention here that you can buy this jersey for a relatively reasonable price if you have a supplemented crest but for 15 extra or 10 extra I think it's 10 extra you can get it as a silicone crest which is something I don't want to see uh, to have the fans pay more for uh, just a slightly better shirt. But overall, I think this is the winner and we're starting out strong with a 9 out of 10. And it's as a last fan, it's not easy to say that, but you have to appreciate uh, good designs. The away jersey, though, I'm um, a <laughs> little bit of a letdown. I mean, nothing bad, but uh, when you see how good the home jersey is, you almost would have wished they were just would have made a reversal. This is just a uh, white, blue collar, side stripes. I mean, nothing bad, but also nothing really exciting. Uh, I also have to say the sponsor in two tones, although this is how the uh, logo of the Quarker company is also uh, tick, ticks over. This is a little bit more of a mess, and I would go down to six. Speaking of a mess, Wolfsburg. Uh, that one has un unanimously panned as the worst jersey in the league, and that's despite us having Hartberg in there as well. But this jersey is just bad. It is uh, manufactured by San Siro, which is uh, an Austrian car company where clubs can go in and make their own designs, and it's all sublimated in. Um, what I don't like, I mean, Here's a Wolfsburg jersey that has equal amount of sponsors. And yes, they always had tons of sponsors in there. But I think the sponsor colors of the RC palettes in um, green and red is just way too much all over when the team actually is black and white as the team's color. So that to me is a little a little bit weird as the red sides is too much, the green down the center is, is, is too much. I think if it was just a white jersey and then you have the pin stripe, uh, the, the double stripe around the sleeve cuffs and maybe around the neckline, that would be fine. But this one is really, 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 really bad. It just looks cheap from the get go and the picture doesn't do it any favors either. I think we have our first one star uh, jersey right here and to be honest the away jersey is not much better. Uh, it is maybe a little bit more unified um, in the sense that the colors fit better together 
But again, it's black, that is okay, but then the lum luminescent yellow, not sure, then full color league logo and crest. It's not good, but it's better than a home jersey. So I'm gonna give this three, but needless to say that Wolfsburg are not endearing themselves to the kit collectors this season. Honestly, Klangfurt almost the same. Uh, but on a much on a higher level. Last season's Klangfurt home shirt was one of my favorite shirts in the entire league. I was really disappointed that they let go of the purple and gold with the little swooshes. They also had a actually nice sponsor. Now they have here a sponsor. Yeah, the red, white, red. That's an Austrian flag. But the Vienna, the free newspaper, the Kärnten. Uh, it does not even, especially doesn't. It, it doesn't even make that much sense of overall it really really looks cheap therefore i think if we, without the sponsor i think the kit is all right and i actually would give it pro probably or at least a boxed one i would probably give it a six star but this sponsor just really really is bad and as i said that doesn't even make grammatical sense i want to go three stars here i really am not uh pleased with that 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 one and the same thing goes for the away jersey where i actually wish instead of the golden accents they had purple accents uh the pinstriping is is right but again one marked by bad sponsors uh the sponsor the sponsor here is as bad as on the home jersey if not more so so yeah i'm also gonna go three i'm sorry to say aus der Klangfurt, i do not like your jerseys this season and this is kind of off a trend because for Red Bull Salzburg, for that being the highest ranking team in Austria, they have a really nondescript home jersey. Uh, the big selling point of that one that every jersey is unique because there's a unique pattern for every player. But I don't mind the white with a little bit of, uh, you know, slight red accents. But then white and gray, and this is a majority gray jer uh, jersey, it's just not fitting. And Salzburg have brought out quite a few nice jerseys, especially uh, earlier last year. This one seems to be an absolute letdown from my point of view. Um, not gonna go high on this one either, but it's the most professional jersey outside of blau weiss that, 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 that we've seen, 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 seen so far. But for me, it's a... Uh, yeah, let's give it a five-star rating here. And then the away jersey, a complete Nike mess. This is for the first one that I combine red and dark blue, which per se is not so bad, but the striping is just all over the place. It's also not a great jersey. It's actually a downright ugly jersey to be honest. And you would be forgiven, is this a blue jersey? It's called, cause, cause I think the back of this one is um, majority blue, or is this a red jer uh, jersey? It's very, very confusing, the whole look of this one. <sighs> Definitely no, no, the fan uh, for me, despite it being professional, it's, it's a two star. You just cannot do anything like that. And yeah, we are done with the first set of the Austrian League. Please laugh, let me know which jersey in here you liked and which ones you disliked. And yes, we'll see you very soon for part two. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!